Hi everybody, it's Candace from Oodles of Doodles. Today we're going to talk about enrichment, so giving those dogs something to do. Um, they all like to be busy, um, and especially on days when it's cold or you can't get out for that walk, it's nice to have some ideas of some different things that you can do. Um, so first of all, um, one of my favorite training treats, this is a Crumps Natural, so this is a liver treat. Um, and they're really teeny tiny. So tiny little liver treats. So you can do lots of things with these. So um, really good when you have a little pup and you just want to give a little treat just to reinforce. That's pretty small for Molly. But um, snuffle mats are great. Um, you can find these lots of different places. There's a lot of people that hand make them. You can find them on Etsy. Um, any good quality pet store should have some. So what you do is you just take the little treats or you can also use kibble and you just hide it uh, inside the mat and then it takes the dogs a while and they just kind of snuffle around, pick the little treats out, uh, gets their brain going um, and a nice reward in there for them as well. Um, there's a lot of other kind of cool products that you can use. A lot of people, if you're just feeding a dry kibble, you can feed it in a puzzle ball. So this one you can actually um, change so that it is easier or harder. So you just put kibble or treats in here um, and it kind of rolls around and it's weighted to make it easier or harder to get the treats out. Um, so that's a great one to keep them busy. Um, lots of things you can do with the Kong. Um, my favorite thing to do is to stuff it. So, you know, pumpkin, yogurt, banana, veggies, you can use canned dog food. Um, really, there's no end to what you can put in here. Freeze it and it's a great crate time treat because it is safe. Um, and they can just be in the crate um, when you have to go to work or whatever. It's something safe you can give them that's going to keep them busy for a little while. Um, lots of puzzle toys out there too. So this one is made by Outward Hound. Um, it challenges them to figure out how to get all the little treats out that you've hidden in there. So that keeps them busy. This one is kind of more of an interactive one, so you're going to do it with them. Um, there you go, Molly. There you go. Another really cool thing from Messy Mutt, so if you feed raw, what you can do is take the spatula and just put all the raw into the little grooves and then the dog can lick it out. It gives them something to do as well. Um, you can also do it with pumpkin, yogurt, peanut butter, you can freeze it, um, keeps them busy for quite a while. Um, the slow feeder is kind of cool too, it's just kind of like a puzzle bowl, food goes in there, it takes them a little bit of time to get it out and they kind of have to use their brain power as well. Snoop, really popular as well, little piece of kibble, little treats in there, got to use my brain to get that out, so that's kind of cool. One of our favorite things around here is when I bring home a box of bones. Um, Guaranteed I can get two or three hours of peace and quiet, so it's awesome. So we really like um, any of the softer bully sticks like the Puppy Love brand. Those are great for puppies. Um, the Yak Milk Bones are really good as well. Just make sure with anything that you're chewing that you're using supervision. Um, with these guys, if they happen to break a piece off or have a piece left over at the end, you can just kind of throw it in the microwave, puff it up, and then it's a cheesy cracker. But that keeps them busy for a while. Uh, number one around here is um, the raw bones. So this is a beef femur bone. This will keep your dog happy for at least two to three hours. Um, and then once they've got all the good bits taken off of it, you can throw it back in the freezer, you can stuff it, you can do whatever you like. So it can be used uh, several times. What do you think, Molly? Okay, so hopefully that helps, gives you some ideas for enrichment. Um, as always, just introducing lots of different things. Giving your pets some new experiences every day is a really great idea. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.